Hey guys, it's Jonesy. I'm back with another video. So I've decided to do something a little different and oftentimes my friends are always asking me what apps are you using or what app is that? I get asked that a lot, especially on Instagram. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. I will include my username. But I've decided to share with you some of my favorite, favorite apps. Yeah, if you like my case, I got this at H&M for like six bucks. I'm constantly changing my cases, so I'm sure throughout the series, you'll also see me with some different cases, so I will link those below. So I do plan on sharing with you products I like, but it's probably going to be like more spontaneous. For the apps, I feel like I'm constantly hearing about new ones and really cool ones, so I've decided to share with you four, and I don't know why I picked no, number four, I just picked it randomly. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you which ones I like. So. If this is something that interests you, keep watching. This is going to be the first video. I'm going to show you four apps. I'm going to show you how they work. And I'm going to also explain why I love them so much. So, keep watching. Okay, so make sure you close out all your apps because a lot of these that I'm about to talk about can really make your battery drain. So the first one is called More Beauty 2. And I love this app. Um, you can obviously buy this at the App Store on your iPhone. I'm not sure about Droid users because I don't have a Droid, so you're just going to have to look into that. But you go into your photo album, basically you can change a photo and it kind of just helps filter it out, smooths out your skin, just gives your photos a glow. I really like how they come out. Now there's different sections, there's brightness, smoothing, detail, and tone. You're just going to have to play around with it depending on what the video, I mean the photo is. Because each photo is going to be different. It's going to have different lighting. Some photos may be very grainy. Um, some photos you can't do this with, but most of them you can. And the greatest feature about it is that you can hit before and after. So you're kind of able to see the difference between the two. And in just a second, I'm going to actually show you what I did to my photo. But... This is one of my favorite, favorite apps. So this is the before photo. I took this on a bus in Italy, and then this is the after. You can see the after just looks a lot more professional. Now, I'm gonna show you, I think, a few more. So let's move along. Um, this is another photo I took, and this one's quite dark, and it's behind a window, so there's a weird streak of light. And so I just used the smoothing app to kind of blend everything together and to make it look a lot more professional and cleaner and nicer. So like I said, you're going to have to play around with it, but this is a really, really fun app to use. Now to save, you just hit save photo and it will automatically go into your photo album. Now the next one we're going to talk about is called Camera Plus. I love this app. It looks like this as the icon. You can upload your photos from your photo album. Hit the plus sign at the light box, and you're simply going to just select which photos you want to input. Now this one's cool because it has a lot more features than the other one I just showed you. So we're going to select this photo that I took. Actually, I'm going to show you how to select all photos. So we're going to just select all of the photos, and then we're going to hit select all, and then if you were to just simply want like a few of them, then you would just click the ones you want and then go to the bottom and hit import. So we're going to import just the ones we want. And so it puts it inside the application and you're going to hit done. And then you're going to choose which photo you want to start with first. So I'm going to choose this one that I took in Italy. And what we're going to do is we're going to brighten up the photo and we're also going to blur out the back. So first let me show you the various options we have. You can really do so much with the lighting, which is why I love this app. You can do beach, you can do food, you can do text, and each of these different settings helps to enhance whatever is in the photo. So you can see I come out a lot brighter. I absolutely cannot stand the iPhone flash, so oftentimes I will take the flash off and take the photo and then import it into this app and then use the flash in this app to brighten it up because it just makes it look more natural. So another very cool thing about this app is it has adjustments so you can kind of change the angles. So you can move it left and you can move it right and then you can flip it which you're kind of giving yourself a different viewpoint which is really cool. And sometimes when you flip it you'll realize that you look a lot better on the other side which is quite interesting. So I think I'm going to flip it again for you to see 
um because it's a really cool feature and then we're going to move on to the different settings which is my favorite part and this is a really great app if you want a variety of different special effects and settings up oh, first let's go to cropping which is always important it has a really great easy crop feature and we're just basically going to tune out everything around me and then just focus in on me and there i am and it's so easy and then you would go back into the edit and we are simply now going to change the settings so you have a variety of options and these all come with the app so you have HDR you have polarized which kind of makes it very bright you obviously have some cool black and white options um, there's some grunge options it's really up to you what you want but it's a very very cool app because if you have Instagram, they have filters, but this has like twice the amount of Instagram. So Depth of Field is one of my favorite, favorite, favorites because it blurs out everything in the back and it keeps you in focus, which is really cool. And I'm actually going to show you this again a little bit later, but this is one of my favorite apps. And I also love the HDR one too as well. It kind of looks almost like a painting. I use this a lot when I was editing my photos from Europe. I really love this feature. So we're just going to do a few more. This is black and white. And some of them are kind of coming out weird just because I'm showing it on a camera on my camera. But um, if you were looking at my physical camera in front of you, it actually looks really great. So I highly suggest you download this app in the App Store and check it out because it's great. Okay, now here's a great photo to show you how excellent the lighting is on this because this photo was very dark when I took it and I had to lighten it up and my blue just pops um, as soon as I brightened it and in a few minutes I'm gonna show you what I ended up doing to manipulate this photo um, but now I'm just experimenting with some of the different features and you're able to see how I'm able to change it this is a fashion one It's actually quite dark but there's a lot of different ones that come out a lot better and what's very cool is that you're able to adjust the settings too so if you don't want it as intense as it looks you can always change it and when you're done you just hit done at the top and then you hit save at the bottom and it automatically puts this photo into your photo album which is really cool and now it's just gonna save it so now here is the before photo and this is what my mother took of me in Rome and then this is the after photo using camera plus pretty amazing right okay so let's move along now let's talk about mirror gram which I'm sure you've seen a lot on Instagram it's basically like giving yourself a twin it's a really cool app um, so there it is on my iPhone and if you see other apps don't worry I will talk about those probably next time so let's just get to mirror gram so I'm gonna select this photo and then I'm basically gonna duplicate myself but first I'm gonna show you the different options so they have some options here where you can blur out the black with the background and do whatever you want to the photo which is cool and then they also have filters where you can able to change the lighting and, and different things like that but today I'm going to show you just how you can duplicate yourself and it looks really really cool okay so let's jump right into it there I am giving myself a twin pretty cool and sometimes they can look a bit creepy like I'm about to show you a creepy one right now that's kind of weird but uh, most people do um, just a side by side and I'll show you a few examples of that but here are some more little creepy ones if you want to check those out <laughs> but um, now I'm gonna show you some other photos I was able to do with this so okay so let's duplicate this photo here it's really cool it looks like I have a twin so that's cool um, and then you can kind of zoom in and zoom out however you want just be careful because it also gives the people in the background a twin as well which is a little weird um, some of them do cost money but the most most of the cool ones that you want to use are free and you can directly send this to your um, social social media pages too if you want Instagram Facebook Twitter etc so here are some of the other ones that I've done in the past here's one when I'm wearing my sunnies and then here is another one with my headphones and here is another one this was also in Barcelona which is really cool 
And then I believe another one I'm going to show you with Sunny's on. So this app is really cool. It's a lot of fun um, just to play around with. And then lastly, this one is a brand app. And this is the Sephora app, which I absolutely love, 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 love. It looks like that right on your icon. And if you're a huge Sephora shopper, I highly suggest that you become a beauty insider because you get such cool things with that. Okay, so here's the deal on this app. First of all, it's great because you can see reviews so fast. You can scan products while you're in the store. Yes, and you can get reviews instantly. You just scan the barcode, so it's really cool. Um, you can also see things like, you know, today's obsession, so it tells you what everyone's buying and what everyone's really interested in, and today it's this um, black cleanser or this um, facial brightening, so tons of options. Um, and you get to find out everything you want to know about a product before you buy it. Because you go into a store and you really have to find someone to help you, but oftentimes in Sephora it's hard for me to get help because they're so crowded. So you're able to just do this on your own, which is really cool. You're also able to look up stuff in the app and then go look for it in the store. Maybe you don't remember what something specifically called. You're able to just pull it up really, really quickly. Another great thing is that they have mobile offers. So this is just for you mobile users and they have deals, you get a free um, $25 purchase, you get a free little gift with that which is really cool and they tell you stuff that's on sale, it's great. So if you're an avid Sephora shopper and you have a Beauty Insider card, I highly suggest this. They also have videos which is excellent. Obviously you must like videos if you're on YouTube already looking around. So. This is basically like having the YouTube app, but just for Sephora products, right handy for you to see. And I'm just scrolling through and I can watch the different videos. And then lastly, I'm going to show you, I think, yes, this is sale items. So you're able to see what's on sale in the store today. And it looks like it's a lot of the Peter Thomas line, which is cool. Um, very cool. Tarte, some great stuff. Um, Givenchy. So, yeah, I love this app. It's excellent. So, definitely download it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found these apps helpful. Feel free to obviously download them if you're into them. Stay tuned next month where I share with you another four. And feel free to comment below if this is an app that you want me to check out as well. Also, give me a thumbs up if you liked it and you want to see more of these. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.